Just come back and go. Talk to what is it? Please tell me. Tell me. Talk to tell me. Tell me. Tell me, doctor. Look at her. She's coming. Mama, she's dead. She's dead. Mama, why? Why? No. Mama, why? 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 No. No. No, doctor. She's dead. Why? Doctor, no. No, no. She's dead. I said to the deputy governor, why in the first place are you going to withdraw my fire regarding the contract when we have already collected over 90% of the money in part of it will drop brandy with it, you know? So we need it. Jake, you're home. I didn't know that. Dad, you're late. I mean, considering your guest, not only are you late, you also have forgotten and seem not to be interested. Well, then, forgotten? Not interested? Son, what are you talking about? That's exactly what I mean, Dad. If no meant anything to you, you will remember that she died some 18 years ago today. Well, Dad, I'm sorry, but you see, I was trying to get where, where, what, what I mean is... You mean too many beautiful prostitutes out there to help you relieve, I mean, ease off and forget that mom is dead? Jake! Jake! Yet another one. Jake! Jake! Jake, come back here! Chief! Who was that? You saw? It's alright. It's alright. Don't worry. I'll be back. You understand? Don't let his mood disturb you. He is always moody. You understand that? That boy wants me to treat him like a baby all the time. You know? I don't have that time. You understand? You just sit down. I'll be back. Don't worry. You wait for me. I'll do it. Jake! Jake! Your mother's people told you it's not the truth. Dad, mommy died with my unborn brother because of you. I mean, the least respect, I mean, courtesy she expects from you today is just to show her this respect. That's all. <laughs> How many years are we now talking about? Dad, I, I just don't want to talk. 18 years, 18 years, I have to go on. Life will not stand still for me. Dad, she gave up everything for you. Her career, everything, she gave up everything. I don't know who has been feeding you with all that rubbish, but I have mourned enough. I've served my punishment. You don't expect me to live a life of solitude because I lost a wife. I am not the only man who has lost a wife in this world. Is that exactly what I'm saying, Dad? Can't you see?
see I miss her? Dad, I grew up without her motherly care. And all I get as a consolation from you is to come in with prostitutes into the house. Now, I will send that, Jake. That, that was just a prostitute downstairs. You know, you shouldn't go about insulting my friends or criticizing my social life. Oh, God. You are becoming overbearing. That, that... I, I, I just don't want to talk. I just don't want to say anything. Jake, I, I, I think it's about time you and I face the truth. Please sit down. You won't see it. Jake, I put up with all this nonsense long enough because I thought you would grow up and face reality. What reality, Dad? Your mother. Yes. She never stopped taunting or nagging me just like you. Yes, just like you. She never stopped choking me with issues that had to concern her and her only. Yes, he was one of our early morning quarrels. And she came after me. I ran and she fell down the staircase. No, oh, Dad, you pushed her. No, she fell. Dad, you pushed her. She fell. Dad, you're lying. No. You pushed her. That is an insult. Not in my house, not from you. She fell. Dad, you pushed her. your mother would do. Take your dirty paws off me. Damn it! Now listen, Jacob. Listen, Jacob. Grow up. The world out there is not standing still. It's not waiting for anybody. It's not moving back. It's moving forward. Grow up! I have punished myself enough. Getting to know you officially since I'm in your father's life. Let's have a drink. Come on. to make noise. I am not your mate. Oh. <laughs> Wait until she gets married. Uh-uh. Mama, please. My sister, don't mind your mother. Please, just try and finish your school. It's very, very, very important. Please. Madam. Yes? Let me give you money for the clothes. Okay. I hope it will be ready before Saturday. Mm. I'll come back and collect it. Saturday. Okay. Yes. It will be ready. Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Bye -bye. bye bye. See you. <laughs> Ah, uh, Mama. Yes. What is that bag of pure water doing out there? Ah, uh ah. -uh. Doing out there? Don't you know there is business in, 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 in pure water making? There is money in it. Mommy, I know we don't have money, but selling pure water is not my ideal. It's not. It's not ideal at all. There. Don't you know this five five nine? If you gather them together, it will make a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Don't you? Know? Yeah, Mommy. Uh, yeah. Auntie Maureen is back. Oh, she sent for you. Easy, Eli. Auntie Maureen is back. She's back. Oh. Mama, what am I doing here? 
Mommy, please, I'll see you later. Ah, let me go and see her. Hey, this child is going without waiting for me. Ah, ah, please, please, please wait for me. Don't go there and, and start to gossip. Please, car. Please, car. Every time I wake up, I ask myself, without you, what would I have done? It's only God that will bless you. It's all right. Must you always remember the past? Look at my daughter. You are the one paying her school fees. You bought all these clothes from London for her. Oh, thank you. Let's have some juice. Celebrate. Hmm? Mommy, I'm sure this one is for you. Ah, <laughs> oh, God, look at this lovely cow. It's the beats. Can you imagine? How can she spend so much money buying this clothes in London? She must have spent so much. Mm. But mommy, she's a nurse in London now. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they make a lot of money. Even if they print money in her room, she has spent so much. One thing you should understand is that Adzimori is a nice person. The nicest of your friends. <laughs> uh, by the way, mommy, how did both of you meet? Hmm. I don't know how I will start, whether you will understand. This life. Sometimes in my sleep, I cry. I cry, not sadly. I cry for joy, for joy that I know more in, and that is why you are alive today for me. To my hair. Okay, okay, okay. I love you. Beautiful. That's my girl. Okay, come. It's nice. <laughs> It's okay, it's You know I'm taking a risk. My auntie will come out at any moment now, okay? I'll see you by the weekend. Weekend is too far. Just don't stay. Uh, weekend, and that's it. Weekend. See, don't stay. And expect surprises from me. Please. Okay. Bye -bye. You were hugging and kissing. I wasn't kissing anybody. Liar! Liar! I said, who was it? You did not lie to me. Is that what you brought you here for? Who is the man? I wasn't kissing. Who was it? I was killing you today. You are a liar. I'm telling you I'm lying. I'm telling you I'm lying. It's okay. It's okay. I'm good. It's okay. I will handle it my own way. It's all right. Come back here. Now listen up again. Listen and listen attentively. Perhaps you don't know what is at stake here. Your future, your education is on the line. Soon and very soon, you will have to make a choice between good future and a low life with unwanted pregnancy. Now, get out of here. Get out! Is she mad? You need to hear what she and her husband are saying. Uh, you have to choose between living with us, having a good life, or being a prostitute. Jesus Christ. They open the defeating mat to call you a whore? Look at this. I don't blame them. I see if their house is one heaven on earth. Abigail. If I may ask, are you a maid to them? Okay, okay. See, I love you. 
I promise. I will take good care of you. What are you saying, Paul? You had me well. You see this small place? This house can contain both of us. All you need to do is to pack in here and live with me. Honestly, I love you, happy girl. We can face our world. Our future together. And when heaven decides, guess what? We will get married to each other. Do you really love me this much? Yes, I do, happy girl. And I'm not kidding about it, honestly. That's my idea. Ah. What are you hurrying to? Why are you always hurrying? Eh? See, I have to go. It's 7.30. My auntie and her husband, they will kill me today. Oh, see, I'll be there. I've been complaining about this. Eh? You, you're always afraid. And you bother over nothing. Why? Because I don't hold myself. Okay, you get come. Come, 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 come. See. You see, we owe each other. And I love you. I don't want you to be in fears. You are going nowhere. Stay with me. No. You are Paul. going nowhere. Abigail. Paul, please, I have to go. Paul, I promise I'll come and see you later, okay? Okay. Promise. Promise. Bye-bye. I would like to see you up there. Where are you coming from? I say, where are you coming from at this time of the night? Eh? I went to see my friend about our exams. Which stupid friend? And whose foolish exam is that? Now, Abigail, tell me for the last time before I lose my temper on you. Where are you coming from? I went to see my friend and there was hold up on the road. You appreciate us ever being here to live with us in the city? Eh? Bro, I thought I told you I went to see my friend about her exams yeah. and there was hold up on the road. Or do you people expect me to fly? Eh? Did you hear her? Just imagine. Did you hear her? Eh? I said it. Yes, certainly somebody is encouraging this girl. Simple! I told you. I told you that this girl is a harlot and she's waiting to, to, to corrupt our children. Yeah, hey, auntie, don't call me a harlot. Hey. Huh? I'm tired of all these sort of names you people call me. Hey. Huh? What's all this? Hey. Hey. <laughs> now listen, Abigail. For having said this, Abigail, you are leaving my house this night. I agree. Let me leave. Now. Huh? Ah. And you people giving me all, all sort of names. It is okay. Hey. Hey. It is all right. I'd rather go to where they will give me respect. I said it is okay. Mm -hmm. eh? That does it. Okay. Wait for me. See, since you can now, you don't have a place. Take it eh? and go. Go and finish your school. Your school there. I know. Yeah.
Nobody is hurt. What's the problem? I beg, stand. Stand, stand, stand. Come. Say, are you hungry? Abby, talk to me now. Are you hungry? What is it? Oh. Yes. Um, Talk to me now. Um, ah. um, I'm pregnant. Jesus. Preg what? Pregnant. What kind of pregnant? Which one do you know? No. Abby, let's get this thing straight. See. It could, it could be a fever. Malaria or maybe... Or it? maybe the doctor that I con consulted is not qualified enough. Or I don't know my body. Some money. Money for what? What money are you talking about? I need to get some medication. Get some books to prepare for my GCE and jam. And you know, I need some money to do other things. Longing to talk to you over something that bothers me. I really I wouldn't want us to regret anything or waste valuable time when there is something that needs to be done, must be done. I don't understand. Good. Abigail, you must live for an opportunity. What? Paul, what did you just say? You had me well because I'm not yet ready. And both of us know the truth. Oh, but you told me you love me and will marry me. Exactly, I did. But not now. I'm not ready. I don't have money. Oh, why? Oh, how could you do this to me? No, you're not ready. You went to bed with me. You allowed me to leave my auntie's house and come and stay with you here, Paul. Listen. Sleeping with you is natural. But let me be honest, I did not force you out. I only made a suggestion. I beg you say, let's not be blind about this. Please get your hands off me. Well, how could you? How could you do this to me, Paul? Paul, I, I gave you my whole body and soul. See? Both of us have prospects, missions, and agendas in life. I love you, happy girl, and I would really wish to marry you, but not now. See, I don't have money. I don't have a job of my own. I still need to go back to school to finish my engineering program. Besides, to be very honest, this house we are living in does not belong to me. But it belongs to my brother. Paul, you lied to me all this while. Paul, why? Why, Paul? Abidi, I'm sorry. But the truth must be told. We have no other option than for you to leave for a portion of a thing. And that's it. Push! 
Push, push, push. 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 Yeah, it's coming. I really appreciate your friendliness and kindness towards me. Hospital ethic has in us. That's my job. It's alright. Don't worry. See, when my husband comes, he will pay you double. Double when he comes back from Abuja. Is it Abuja or Lagos? Um, he equally goes to Lagos too. See, Abiga. There's no need hiding these things from me. I'm like your own sister. You and I know the truth that there is no husband. No husband anywhere, Abiga. See, I checked the data you gave me. The hospital is worried. And I've been covering you up, and you know that. To tell you the truth, Abiga, the security here has been ordered to keep an eye out for you. Should you try anything irrational? Or will you? See, I really want to be on your side. Perhaps for the sake of this child. But there's something you need to tell me, Abigail. Is there any husband anywhere? Perhaps a father. Then what will you do? The hospital needs their money. The address of your auntie and the husband you gave me the other day, they totally denied knowing you when I got there. I had to pay part of your delivery bill to stop the hospital from calling the police. Please don't let them take my baby away. Don't let them take my baby to the orphanage. Please, Maureen, help me. But you have no home, not even a family. In the first place, how do you get yourself involved in this? How? Such a nice, young-looking girl like you. Or were you into prostitution? So how? How? Talk to me, Abigail. How? Maureen, please. Just take me like your sister. I don't have anywhere to go. Nobody to come for me. The man that gave me that baby. And he disappeared and abandoned me. Hurry, please help me. See, Abigail, I know this is not going to be easy. But so right, like, just to get it, all the law courses in place. I can see So, the man that was supposed to be my father it was the one that did all these things to you. <laughs> I can't stop blaming myself. I'm believing the lies and deceptive tongue from such a man. Maurice. Hmm. Maureen is my life. She took me into her house and gave me all the things I use in taking care of you. She bought that sewing machine for me and paid for that shop. This is just the real family you have. Please go. You're the only thing I have. Promise me. Promise me that you will watch everything you do in life. Well, you know how all this too. Yes, I know. But my life depends on it. I will die. If you end up like me, it will kill me. I promise. Priska. I promise. Promise. Priska, you will go to school, graduate, have a fine husband that will take care of you, get a good job, have beautiful children in your house. I had opportunity in life, but I lost it. I don't want you 
to end up like me. Please, promise me. Mama, I promise you. Promise me. Mama, I'll always make you happy. I want to support you. Sorry, I didn't see Is that you. how to drive? How can you see? Is that how to drive? Sorry, I, I didn't see you. Um, is there anything I can do? Tell me, how, how, how am I supposed to enter the school looking like this? I'm sorry, is there anything I can do? I mean, the laundry or dry cleaner around, we can go to... The... Dry cleaner. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Um, is there anywhere I can drop you around here so you can change? Uh, my, host, no, my hostel is around here. Just somewhere around. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, can I take you now? Sorry. one hopeless man like that. Look at the way he splashed water all over my body. Hell, as I think I was even rushing for my lectures this morning. Apparently I've missed it. He's gonna take your bath before you start smelling in the classroom. <laughs> <laughs> Girl. You better rush back to school for your lectures, eh? No, oh, no, you're right. God, I'm getting too excited. Should I ask you this side your bobo? Yeah. <laughs> I just pray nobody splash butter on me. Nobody again. will. See ya. Hey, you girl. <laughs> I put it through and wasting your time like this. Um, 
Well, I didn't expect you to still be here. Don't you have anywhere else to go to? Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm not that callous, okay? I'll take you back to school. Uh, after all, I caused this whole changing process. Well, that's very thoughtful of you. Sure, I'm taking you to school. Thanks. Oh, well, thank you for dropping you off on school, okay? Um, sorry, uh, may I ask you something? What? My name, I guess. Sorry, I am not telling you. Thanks for being so nice anyway. <laughs> but, but you're wrong. That's, that's not it. What then? I um, actually want to know, I want to find out if you don't mind if I, if I could come more often and splash water on you so we could go back to the hostel change while I wait for you then bring you back to the school. That is really funny. But I tell you, it wasn't funny when you splashed water on me earlier this morning. <laughs> well, it won't be funny if I, if I should leave here not knowing you. See, I am not in the mood of knowing anybody and I don't want anybody to know me. Perhaps some other time. Thanks. Um, Remember this morning, you said the morning hours wasn't the best time to wait for you. At some other time. And I feel this is that other time. <laughs> Don't you have places to go to ride and sit on your bonnet and wait for me the whole day? No, I have things to do. Definitely I have places to go to. But there's nothing more important now than waiting for you. <laughs> oh, please. Spare me all those innocent and harmless patronage. What do you want from me? I don't want anything from you. I just want to give and show you. Show me what? Show you who you are. Show you what you are. I mean, show you what a woman, a girl like you is really worth. <laughs> you run your line so perfectly. But sorry, I don't buy. You see, when I woke up this morning, I was cursing. I was swearing as hell I was pissed. See, but when I ran up to you in your anger, my bitterness and sadness were all gone. And I swore to myself, I mean, this is real, that I must know you. Whatever it takes, I mean, and I make a threat to that. I'll do any next. Oh, no, no, no. Whatever your name is. Uh... My name is Jake. Fine. Jake, I don't know you. And I'm not you in the mood for any you kind of... You don't have to. I'm supposed to put you in the mood, okay? And if I can't do that, then I'm not man enough. I mean, what do you think? I know you should be tired, hungry, and wanting to go back to your hostel. Definitely, I want to go. Leave that to me. Okay? I'll take you somewhere. I'll treat you. I'll give you a nice meal, then I'll bring you back to the hostel. Sorry, I don't think it's Leave very... that to me. Okay? Um, if it's not important to me, I won't be waiting this long. Okay? Yes, you sure do have your way, don't you? Are oh, you telling me I have my way now? Sorry, I, I didn't ask you. What's your name? Okay, bye. My name is Priska. Priska. Lovely name.
did you leave that bottle of champagne in the sitting room? Uh, oh, Chief, don't bother about that. Let's get down to business. Business, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. What is this, Chief? Oh, I, I thought you told me your wife is no more. Uh, yes, I'm sorry. This is my son. Don't worry, don't worry, sweetheart. Everything will be all right. Don't worry, okay? Don't worry, I'll, I'll take care Chief, of Chief, I don't think I'm sleeping here tonight. What are you talking about? Come on, there's nothing to worry about. You understand what I'm saying? There's nothing to worry about, okay? Look, Chief, I can't sleep under this roof with a scary thought of a dead woman over me. Look at her pictures. No yeah, way. Listen to me. Listen to me. There's nothing to worry about. Like I said, you understand? I'll remove the pictures. Just no way. Excuse me. Angela. Angela, come back here. Oh, God. For heaven's sake. What? Easy, baby. Hot chips. I don't have to look. Hey, see, yeah. I don't pass them. Just take the one way you want to use them. Bring them back. Thank right. you. Who's the one that gave me serious food for that face? It is a no-see that kind. Who they send on a Valentine? You pay Valentine, right? Oh, girl, are you sabi? So something that happen like this, you don't want to tell your personal people. You know who do. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. All right. For you. Yeah, for you, Mommy. Mommy. Yes. Hmm. That was nice. From who? Who cares? Just open the gates. Let me see. I beg you. The person came around and said he's going to come back this evening. Mm -hmm. I think. I think by this time. I'm sure it's from Jack. Ah, I talk. Huh? I beg you, be Jack. When I'm on all that. Stupid boy, you me water that day. That one? I know. So, I think they said all this stuff. And I'll be glad to another place I said. Yeah, try it. Hi, girls. Hi. Hi, Hi. 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 Hi.
What is it? You, you don't look you don't look comfortable to me. God, I I've, I've not done this. I, I don't know. You, are, are you a virgin? Say on our displacement. Oh, he traveled to Canada and is not coming back till December. We are all by ourselves here. I don't think I should be doing this. I think I have to go or something. Oh, so beautiful. See, every time I look into your eyes. See my generation is unborn. to marry me. Why? Because I lost my virginity to you and now you want to impersonate by asking me to marry you? No, 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 no. And what? But because I feel it in my heart. I mean, you never cease to know how much you make me feel special each time you're with me. I mean, I, I want this relationship to go into marriage before I travel. Don't you feel the same way? Yeah, I do. It's just that I, I have, I have this feeling that we're moving too fast. I don't, I don't understand, really. Jack, you're my first love, and I, I, I don't want. Um, I don't want oh, to oh, 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 Chrissy. I, I promise to remain that way. And you remain the only woman I love. It's hard to believe. It's hard to know what to believe. Each night when I sleep, I pray that what I did with you wasn't a mistake. I love you. You see, love is not enough to, to, to explain how I feel inside of me. You don't know how much hurt I feel each time you're not there with me. I mean, the need to protect you. I mean, the need to care for you. Okay. Oh, no, Jake, it's just that I always want you to be there for me. I don't want to experience that heartbreak. I don't want to okay. care. outside or in the sitting room or barging in people's kitchen or oh. are you the driver I mean, you now bring little girls into this house to insult me? I can't 
can't even remember hearing you greet properly. Besides, you don't tell me how to run my life. Yes, I can, Dad. No, you can't. Yes, Dad. Yes, I can't. This loose train has gone so far enough and somebody's got to apply the brakes now. Talking about applying the brakes, what was that stunt you displayed in my room the last time? Oh, now you're battling with your conscience. So this guy is your son. Can't even show some court seat to your guest in your house. You, you see that? You see that? You see that? Hey, stop! You see that? Stop it, Jake! Jake! What has gotten to you? That you've gotten into my mind! And you think I'll watch you kill me like you killed mom and point your fucking finger at me? I am the dad! You are son! Yes, you are a dad! Good. Know that always. But that's never gonna happen. Now listen, it's obvious that two captains cannot run a ship. I'm making you an offer. Take the next available plane to London. Yes, I'll give you the key to the family house there. Put money in your account. You can start a new life there if you want. Oh, now you're trying to bribe me out of your conscience, Dad. Bribe. That's never gonna happen, Dad. That's never gonna happen, I said it again! Are you sure you don't want me to come up and meet some of your mates? No, no, mates. Chief. They gossip a lot. Okay, no problem. Take me to the island club. Okay. Stop, stop, stop. Hello. Hello. Come. Hello, pretty girl. How are you? Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, my dear. Are you one of the students that live in this hostel? Yes, sir. Are you looking for somebody? Not actually, but um, I saw you walking down when I was coming here, and I said, look at this lovely queen trekking on this dirty road. Huh? Come, girl. You must be tired. Come in, let me give you a treat. Uh, well, as you can see, sir, I'm already in my hostel. I'm not going anywhere. Thank you. Okay. I, I know that you don't know me, but there's something you must know. There's nothing you ask from the chief that you can't get. Come, let me spoil you a little bit. Eh? I am not stingy, you know. And I'm not hungry, you know. See, sir, I am not interested. All right. Listen. Occasional 10,000 naira, three times a month. Would that make any sense to you? Huh? You need clothes, you need other things. Come, my dear. You need to know the chief. I thought you had more interesting things to tell me. What I told you is interesting, girl. And the most interesting thing. Chief, this one tofu. <laughs> There's nothing tough for the chief. You understand? Go down. Go and find out her room number. I shall surprise her. Okay? Go down.
Good afternoon. I beg, I they look for Naru yet. You mean Priska? Yes. Well, she's not around. She's not around. Okay. When she come back, make it help me give her this package. Tell her, send her chief, give her. Chief? Chief. Okay. Uh, this money too. Now 10,000 Naira. Okay. Make you give her. Tell her, send her chief, also give her. Count it. Thank you. Eh? Hey, How could you collect such things on my behalf? How could you do that? Please just take them back to wherever you brought it from. Please say you're not serious. I repeat, you are not serious. Did you hear that? Ah, oh, Priska, take a look at this thing and the, and the money. After all, the money has just been nice to you. I am not for sale. Take this thing back to whoever he calls himself, chief or whatever, I do not care. And who said you're for sale? Who said you're for sale? After all, money does not fall from the sky. Priska, if a man feels like showing appreciation for Christ's sake, let him do it! Priska, stop him! I have someone showing me appreciation, and that is Jake. Take this thing back to whoever brought it to this house. I do not want to see you when I get back. Okay, you think when? We'll go share the money. When she comes back, we'll tell her we'll return the gift. Period, because we're going to share this money. No, just See? mind that shakara picking. Okay, she did like know. say she be billionaire picking. Eh? Which can you get me this one, Abeg? Mm -hmm. Why? Why are you still? Chief, look at those two girls. Yes, who are they? Then be that girl's uh, roommates. Priska. Good. Rivers. You go and park by the roadside. Let me talk to them. Okay, Chief. Hey, Chief. Yes. Hello, pretty Hello. girls. Hello, How are you? Fine, you guys must be Prince Carl's roommates, huh? Yes, sir. Yes. Are you the father of the uncle, sir? Never mind. Do you know where she is now? Actually, we don't know. I think she should still be in the school campus. All right. You guys went out for something? Yes, yes we sir. went to the boutique to pick a thing or two, but the prices are too scary. We can't even afford anything. <laughs> it's all right. Nothing is scary for the chief. Yes. Let's go back to that boutique. I'm sure that Priska would ap appreciate one, one, one thing or two. Okay. Come in, come in, come into the car, okay? Are you the person that sent the gift and cash, sir? Certainly. She received them, didn't she? Yes, she was very, very excited, sir. Really? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. We gave them to her personally. You know, um, she actually wanted to call you all through the night, but she couldn't find your number. I hope you're going to I give see. me to give to her. It's all right. Let's go back to the boutique. And, uh, I'm sure that uh, there will be more from where that came from, okay? okay? You're going to buy something for us? Yeah, whatever you want, baby. Okay, okay G. G. Thank you, sir. You're so grateful. <laughs> Priska? No, I just came and I was about to knock when I saw both of you. 
Well, let's go in and see if she's asleep. All right, thank you. Hi. Priska. Priska, what's up? Guess who is here to see you? Who, Jake? Who is Jake? Chief is here to see you, Jerry. And so what? Priska, don't you know who that man is? A multi billionaire that can spoil you. Sell it with money. How many times have I told you guys that I'm not interested in that rotten old man? What I'm telling you, sir, is outside written. He's outside, yes. Well, I guess this will be the end of it. Just come. Just take it easy, you. Sure. Good day, Chief. And I must let you know one thing, Chief. I do not approve or appreciate you coming here to see me. I've already told you I am not interested. I don't understand. Is it that you don't like the gifts or that they are not enough? Gifts? What gift? I never asked or received any gift from you. But you did. I sent them through your roommates including some money sometimes. Well, they never gave me anything. But that's by the way. <laughs> but you students, your ways are funny sometimes. Not to worry. Whatever they hid away from you, I'll replace abundantly. Chief, I already have a relationship that I respect. I do not double date all the time. Oh, please, God, this is a very simple thing that you can handle. Okay? Look, Chief is ready to spend money on you to make your life worthwhile. Let's start this way. I, I give you a hundred thousand naira. And you come with me to Abuja for a weekend. I'm sorry, I cannot do that. Not to the man I'm in love with. Okay, okay, okay. I'll make it a hundred and fifty thousand naira with some shopping to go with it. <laughs> not even with a million, Chief. I've told you, I am not interested. Okay. I do appreciate your commitment and resistance. Okay. I tell you what, why don't we be friends, okay? You just regard me as an uncle, okay? But I'd very much like to know this young man that uh, you love so much and are so devoted to. Well, he's the nicest person I've ever known. Hmm. And he cares very deeply about me. Good. 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 This is my card. Take it. Please do not be irritated by my visits. And do not hesitate to call me. Okay? Please can. I'll do anything for you. Anything. Just as a friend and nothing more. I'll tell you something. I'll be very honored to have a girl like you as my friend. And you'll be surprised what kind of presents I could bring on your wedding day for <laughs> you and that. Your young man that you love so much. Oh God. <laughs> okay? okay, take my card. Thank you very much. Oh, walk me down to the car. I, I do demand that I insist that you walk me down to the car. Say goodbye here and just walk off. Come on. All right, I'll see you to your car, and that is it. Because I have to come and wait for my crease to All right, baby. That's it. I'll tell you, Chief.
20 minutes. Um, please, um, where is Priska? Um, she just went out. She, she went out? Mm -hmm. You mean she went out? Yes. I'm sorry, we, we two. Um, an uncle of ours came around from Abuja and they went out together. Can you have a message? Oh, no, I'll be alright. Sorry, um, um, no, no problem, okay? Have a good day. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm. Hi, baby. I got your message and I said... Who was the man I saw with last night? What are you talking about? Don't you lie to me! And don't you go acting innocent like I'm some kind of a fool. I mean, who is he? Oh, you mean Chief? I don't bloody care who he is! Priska, you told me I'm the only man in your life. Anna, Remember? Anna, I, didn't, I didn't lie about that. I'm not doing anything with you. Priska, I saw you last night. Where did you drive with him last night? I saw you drive away in his car last no, night. No, I did not! I was in Pamela's room, you can go and act her. Fine, Chief has been coming to my hostel, sending me gifts through my roommates, but I always reject them. I'm not doing anything with him, Drake. I was on my way to your room last night. I saw him talking to you. Yeah. Priska, I also saw you walking into the car. What are you saying to me? Stop lying to me! I am not lying to you! Stop lying to me! I am me. not! Lab culture will have to come out first, mm -hmm. but it has all the signs of typhoid fever and hypothesis. Hmm. Please, nurse, I'll appreciate a special attention on her. Mm. That's our specialty in this hospital. I assure you, she's in good hands. Thank you very much. People should just be very careful of the sort of food and water they take in this country. Ah, <laughs> Senator. Yes, I'm on my way to Abuja now. Right now, yes. Of course, Senator. I made your committee a promise, and uh, I have a record. You know, I keep my promises. Yes. No? <laughs> Senator, the chief does not travel alone. <laughs> yes. I'm coming along with that my beautiful girl. She's now waiting for us at the hostel. Yes. 
Uh, you mean that she should bring some of our friends for the party? Of course. She has roommates. She has roommates, yes? It's all right. I'll tell her if it's possible, yes. She will. <laughs> it's okay. You're right. I, I, I think uh, I will look for a private apartment for her so that those fast young men will not reach her under wears. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Senator. Let me hurry up. I, I don't want to miss my flight, okay? I will talk to you later. All right. Okay. Thank you. Right. committee a promise and uh, I have a record you know I keep my promises yes no <laughs> senator the chief does not travel alone <laughs> yes I'm coming along with that my beautiful girl she's now waiting for us at the hostel yes uh, you mean that she should bring some of our friends for the party of course. She has roommates. She has roommates, yes? It's all right. I'll tell her if it's possible, yes. She will. <laughs> it's okay. You're right. I, I, I think uh, I will look for a private apartment for her so that those fast young men will not reach her under wears. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Senator. Let me hurry up. I, I don't want to miss my flight, okay? I will talk to you later. All right. Okay. Thank you. Right. Good day, Priska. How are you? Today. Chief, I'm actually in a hurry. I I'm traveling. My mother is ill, and I hear she's in the hospital. Oh, what a pity. Come in, let me give you a ride. Okay? Come in, no problem. I'm traveling also. Okay. All right. Okay, okay, now. I'll see you later. Okay? Take care. Yeah, see you Bye. 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 She just left. Wait. She said I should give you this. Um, did you see her leaving? Yes, I did. Somebody just dropped her off. Um, the, the car that dropped her off, is it, is it a Land Cruiser Jeep? And a... Yes. Yes, that's Chief. 
How did you know, Chief? Chief, you said. Yes, Chief. I don't want to drink. I want to lie down. Oh, no, Mama. But you've been lying down all this while now. See, drink. Drink this to make you regain your strength. <sighs> you shouldn't have left your leg just to come here. If I had known that she would be this upset, I wouldn't have sent a message. Hi, Auntie. Oh, you think I'll be happy knowing that my mother was hospitalized and discharged without my knowledge? Oh, please, God. My back is aching me. I want to lie there. Hey, mommy. Hey, mommy, oh. please, sorry. Okay, okay, mama, wait. I'll go home and prepare something for you to eat. Mm -hmm. eh? I'm not even thinking of food now. Hello, Abigail, you just have to force yourself. Even if you can't, try as much as possible. Please, girl, you just go ahead and prepare whatever you think she will like. I'll make sure she takes it. Okay, okay, okay. I'll be back, eh? Just take care, eh? I'm sorry. <laughs> It's quite hard, you know. Yeah. I need a real hard stuff considering my mood now. What mood are you talking about? You look and sound so bitter. What is it? Jeff, I need to leave this country. And I'm never coming back. I mean, there's nothing for me in this country anymore. What about this chick you always disturb me on the phone about? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows where she'll be right now with my father? What? Was that a joke or something? No, Jeff, I am the joke! I mean, upon all she said to me, 
upon all she made me believe about her, she's now scrubbing around with my dad. A man old enough to have as a daughter. Jake, who has been lying to you? Jeff, I saw her! Jeff, I saw her! It can't be! It can't be! I know your father could be the Randy type. I won't trust him with my sister. But not with a girl like, what do you call her, Priska? No, Jeff. No, I, I saw my dad picking her up. And that was the night after I saw him giving her his card. Okay? I, I guess it's all about the money. It's all about the money. My dad should be in Abuja now. And the night after he traveled, Priska's roommates confirmed my father picking up Priska. I mean, they traveled together. They are together. God. Even when she knows that the man is your father? No, 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 no. no. I, the, the point is that I, I hid that from her. Oh, you did? Yes, I... But I didn't tell her that and... And, you know, my father in his usual man hmm. went around spreading money around and, and you see, the cheap two-timing lying hungry slot falling like a pack of cats. Oh. No, Jake, those are harsh words to use. <laughs> I have no I, choice. I can't believe this. And I was looking forward to meeting this girl you talk about so much. Ah, Jeff. I think I need to get out of this country now. If I stay any longer in this country, I'll murder my dad. No, you won't. And, and I'll kill that girl, Priska. No, no, you won't. No. You know, I, the best is for me to just get away. Get away from my dad. Get away from Priska. Get away from everybody. Then find a new life somewhere and, oh God, I don't know. Um, my mom is not yet discharged, but she's getting better. Yeah, I hope she's okay. I believe this is your mama hospital stuff. The other day I saw Chief Whiskey away, and when Chief Whisk called the babe, the very nice Whisk! Right now, now, Sabine, I don't know what they talk about. I want to go and see Jake. I've not seen him for a while. Baby girl, you just came back. You need to rest! You have notes and assignment to do. Why not sit down and rest? Ah. Eh? What is your problem? You and this Jake. Jake, 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 no go rest. Um, go. Anyhow, shall I? I don't hear, but let me go and make a phone call. Okay, okay. okay. let me go and call him. I'm coming. Okay, okay. See you. Okay. Eh? My dear. Who did I get to say she did this first? I know. Do that they are saying with my two naked eyes, Chief Karen Komot. Hmm? And now she's claiming nothing. Eh? Eh, now? Upon all her shakara. Hey! How many heads she gonna get, sir? I beg. And you know what? Uh -huh. Jake came in. Eh? Eh? Did he see them? I don't know if he talk. Hey! He be like... He suspected something because he was angry. Very, yeah. very old. Mm. I believe those two people on their service. She just came back. I want to go see Jake. I want to go see Jake. <laughs> now, get to conscious, they worry. I'm sure. I'm going play music. I go play now. We need to. Well, you should have called to find out. I gave you my number, remember? Yes, I did. How's your mother? So she'll be home by now because I left her in the hospital after spending a week with her. But yeah, she'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. Are these all that you're picking up? Um, a straight thing like you. Let me spoil you a little. If Hold on. No, I don't no, think no, no, it's no. necessary for I, I insist. Please indulge me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Chief. 
no, no, Chief. All these things, they are too much for me. I don't need... Just pretend that today is your birthday, okay? Come on, there are so many things. Come on, let's go. Let's go over here. Please stop packaging them, okay? Must be a bull, man. Be looking for this child. What do you take me for? Chief! What do you take me for? I mean, by the way, how was your Abuja trip? Abuja. Bitch. What, what are you talking about? Oh, God. Where have you been all this while? Oh, you think I don't know what's going on? I was in the hospital with my mom. You know she's ill, so I went to see her and everything. You lying bitch! So you now have the guts to run around with sugar daddies? You even have the guts to let him drop you right in front of me. About him? Yes. Okay, I ran into him at the supermarket. And he offered to drop me off here, that's it. Yes, and that's because you don't have money for taxi, right? What did they tell you, Jake? What did they tell me? Are you not doing anything Shut up! Your daddy? What do you take me for? A fool? Of course I'm your fool for hanging out here with you now. But please, I want you to know just this, that I saw you. I know everything. I saw him giving you the card, and I saw you. I saw him driving you off. Your friends in this room confirmed your illicit affair with this Abuja man. Priska, what do you take me for? A fool? See, of course I, I am a fool, and that's... All you heard are all lies. God, I can't believe you don't trust me. No oh, trust. After I gave you my pure and undying love, my virginity. Oh, yes. But I, yes, I showed you how to fly. But now you can't even have enough. You don't even have a grip over yourself. You fly around with every money bag that comes around your way. Damn it. I hate you. I feel like killing you. I hate you, Jack. Where you will stop winning my joy. Jacob, I don't understand what you mean. So you are still holding a grudge against me. Huh? I don't have anything to say to you, Dad. Good. But just take a good look at this face. Because you're never going to see this face in a very long time. Good reader. Jacob! By the time you grow up, someday, someday, you'll understand me better. It might be too late for you, too. Take a look at me now. Don't touch me, you lying bastards. What's that supposed to mean? Who did your lying talk told Jake about me? What is all this? Have I had enough of you and you, Sir Jake? Go to hell with him! Have I had enough of you? Stop talking to me like that! Have you talk to me like that? What? Are you mad? 
stay here. Uh, Jeffrey is the occupant of this place. <laughs> yes, I, I know. Um, he told me he stays with Jeffrey. I will come here very often. That's what I'm saying. Jeffrey is the occupant of this place. Jack's only come here for um, um, a visit. Uh, as a matter of fact, Jeffrey is on a tour, on a training tour in overseas. So, right now I'm the one occupying here. So, you mean he's not here? No. So, where can I find him? Uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. Your mother warned you about this severely. And I warned you too. Priska, how could you? Please. Please help me. Please just help me. Help. From your stories, you don't even know where the man responsible for your pregnancy lives. I don't know him. Nobody does. How could I explain this to your mother? I just met Jake, Auntie. I loved him. And you have nowhere else to go. No one to turn to. Scar from your stories. He it's not even aware that you got you pregnant. And you're not even aware that you got you took him to the day. Now he's gone into the thing. Eh? How do I explain that? Your mother's illness is getting worse in the hospital. How do I face my mother? And what do I tell her? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Oh God. Mama, I have failed you. Oh God, I have promised. I promised to be a good girl. But I think you should know, so that you advise Priska on what next to do, before she does something harsh. Priska, my daughter, is she in trouble? Is it her school fees? No. She did something that she knows you will not like, and she does not know how to face you. What is the problem? Is it that bad? Priska is... 
she's pregnant. And the man responsible is nowhere to be found. Oh my God! Priska! And you're pregnant too. Yeah? Now let me guess. You have come to make me jealous and then give me the wedding invitation. to go to. I have nobody to cry to. I've come to you like a daughter. Please help me. What, what, what happened? It's a long story, Chief. I'm due to deliver. I'm the man responsible for this. There's nowhere to be found. But won't he come back? I mean, how far has he gone? Doesn't he have a number? He left me, Chief. He abandoned me like a piece of rubbish. Oh my God. You mean? No. No. The mother must be hurt. I'm very disappointed.
sorry. I remember the last time you told me that she was hospitalized. I'm sorry. So, where are you staying at the moment? I have no home, Chief. When my mother died, I felt guilty and responsible. So I ran away. I ran away to the village to stay with a distant cousin of mine. Presently, and when I came back, I found out that my mom's house, my auntie's house, had been rented out. Presently, I stay in her shop. I have no money. I have nobody to take care of me. School is on strike. I can't reach most of my friends. All of them. Chief, all I'm asking for is just a place to stay. For me to deliver my baby. Just let me, let me have a safe delivery. It's okay. I'll give you a place where you can deliver your baby safely. Okay. Come and live with me in my house. I'll give you a guest room. You'll be comfortable. I'll show you everything will be alright. Chief. Oh God, Chief, Chief, thank, thank you. you. Chief. Chief. It's all right. I'll have a guest room for you. I'll show you everything will be alright. No, he just decided to be a good boy today. Good. Right. Come on. What? Stop, bun boy. Come on, come on, come on. Hi. Right. Let me get you something to eat. Something to eat? You cooked? Cook? Cooking is an understatement. I created a dish of daily cases. So just do yourself a favor and sit at the dining table. Chicky, chicky. Do all this dining. This is good, but I'm sure you went and bought all these things outside because you don't expect me to believe that you're such a fine cook. Of course I am. I grew up with my mother and she tells me all I knew. Priska, I want you to go back to school. I'll get a nanny who will look after your son to make sure that you have enough time for your studies. Life has to go on. You have to move on. 
It's all right. Don't worry. Okay. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. It's okay. All right. Thank you so much. It's all right. It's all right. Hey. How you doing, boy? Come, come, my boy. Yes, I want you to take a car, go to the hostel and pick up one of my girls. Okay, sir. Any one of them. Okay, I don't want to sleep alone tonight. Okay, Chief. Uh, but Chief, sir, the schools are on strike. Students don't go home finish. You mean they're still on strike? Yes, Chief. Okay. Go and bring me Anastasia. Okay, Chief. I hope she's willing to sleep outside tonight. All right, Chief. All right, Thomas. Seriously, I want you to tell me. What do you really think of her? You mean Anastasia? No. Priska. Priska? Yeah. Do you think she'll make a good wife? Priska? She don't make a good wife finish. The fact say she live with you means say she don't agree. So make you hurry. Go carry the baby Who? straight away. You mean Priska? Priska, go carry her quick. That's, that's impossible. I mean, that girl regards me as a father. I see her like a daughter. She won't even let me touch her arm. But you? She's still carried away by that young man who impregnated her and ran away. Chief, you mean say since <laughs> Priska live here with you? Look, Thomas, you and her never sleep. Thomas. You won't believe it. You won't believe it. You won't believe it. Yeah, she's a very good cook. And she's a fine company. Very good to be with. You know? Anyway, what more does a man need in a wife? Ah, Chief. I don't get confused though. I'm confused. She they confuse me now. I'm confused. So I'll tell us. That guy who I don't understand them again, they pass me. Go and do what I asked you to do. Okay, Chief. Thomas! Sir. Forget it. Go on, sleep. Thank you, sir. Good night, sir. Yes, um, no, I, I was about going to bed. Priska, there's something. Something I want us to talk about. Something very important to me. May I sit down? Yeah, why not? Priska, you've been with me now for a while. And every day I look forward to coming back home to be with you. I must confess, I've grown very fond of you. I, I want to thank you, Chief, for the wonderful and fatherly love you've shown to me. Please, Carl. I'm what expats will call a lonely man. <laughs> lonely? No, Chief. Not with the kind of social circle you keep. You can't be lonely. I am. But not when I'm with you. I still recall the first time that I set my eyes on you. The feeling. How real it was. But still is. Chief, um, 
Why, why do you say that? Please, Carl. I want you to marry me. What? I love you. I need you. And no other woman has been able to bring out the passion in me like you do. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Hold on, please. I. Uh... I can't. I, I, I can't. I can't, Jeff. I love you. I Priska, I've cared for you. I have sheltered you. And I have sworn to give life a new meaning for you. What more do you require from a husband? I'm sorry, Jeff. I cannot bear to have another man's arms around me. My heart has refused to open to any other man except the man that this virgin me and his child I bear. But Priska, he was not there when you needed him. I was. He never cared for you. I do. I know. Stay close to him. Then go to him. Okay? Why stay in my house? Why? Why? Why, Chief? Always been like a father to me. Thank you for taking care of me like your father. It is, it is rare to find somebody that will shelter and assist a loser like me. But you did. And words cannot thank you enough. know that wherever I go, I'll always remember you and the goodness is shown to me. I... I... Please, come, come. Come. <laughs> Please. Sorry for what happened last night. I guess I overreacted. But I assure you, it would never, never happen again. It would pain me to watch you leave this home. Please. But Chief, I, can, I cannot, I cannot give you what you require from me. No. I don't require anything from you at all. Other than for you to stay here as my daughter, please. Please. I 
cherish your company. Um, sorry for what happened last night. I assure you it will never happen again. Please. It will never happen again. It will never happen again, I assure you. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Okay? Stay. I want to see you. He said for the hospital. Hospital? What hospital? I don't know. Madam, the name is Philip Okonkwo. I'm a doctor with the Blue Cross Hospital. Actually, this address was given to me by one Mr. Thomas Ozodi, a patient at the hospital. Thomas? A patient? Yes, he's our driver. What happened to him? Well, there was an accident. Do uh, he is alive but critically injured. And the man in the car? The man identified as Chief Metu. I'm afraid he died on the spot. What? What are, you, what are you talking about? Chief is dead, madam. Please take heart. Oh no. It's not true. It's not. It is. It has been confirmed. Chief. No. Madam, Ogaba Nisa, some people are coming to see you. Uh, Barista. Uh, Barista for what? Uh, he's coming with chief's relatives. Priska, I believe is the name. Yes, I'm Priska. Yes, I'm um, what we are told. You may or may not know me very well. I am the Mwabeze, a brother to late Jonathan Metu. And this is our sister, Mrs. Evina Carlo. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know him as a barrister. Uh, we were in present during your traditional wedding. Well, <laughs> perhaps the chief didn't want us to be present. So. <laughs> I, I, I am not married to him. You mean? Well, you wish to know that Chief left a will concerning his affairs and properties. That's right. He has a son that must be here before the will is read. That means you have to leave. Of course. That, that yes. is the, exactly the purpose of our visit. Since you have done that, yes, we have to leave. Exactly. Um, uh, excuse me. Yes. I, I think I need time to pack my things and mm -hmm. leave. I, I think I need, I need like a week. Well, the chief's son will be here within the week. Mm. He has been officially contacted in his uh, base in London. And, yes. Um, he said he will be coming before the week runs out. You have every apple of 
opportunity to arrange yourself and leave before he arrives, eh? Yes, um, having said all that needs to be said, I think we should be leaving. Okay. Um, Priska, please, I advise that you show total compliance to what we've said. So, thank you. Nigeria. Oh? Huh? You're in the country? When did you get back? I just came in. I just came in, yes. My flight landed in Lagos some six hours ago. I had some some rest, then I took a domestic flight down into town. And I'm in a taxi right away, uh, heading for a hotel somewhere I could just lay my head, you know. Hotel what? Are you crazy? Please come to the house straight. Really? Are you sure that won't bother you? Stop being a stranger and come straight to the house. Okay then, I, I, I'll catch you. I'll catch you in just 15 minutes. Uh, just hang on, man. Jeff, Jeff. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Jeff, cool. that um, Chief Metal's son is around. Oh. Um, finally, today, the will must be read. Okay. Please, we want to find out um, if there are Chief's properties in your position. Mr. How can you ask me such a question? Anything to do with Chief's property or any kind of... Yeah, yeah. Yes. thank yes. God he's here. Yeah. 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 From me. Everything I gave you. Everything you took away from me. So this is your face, Jack. Are you tired of hiding? Hiding? Hiding from who, Priska? Hiding from your illicit affair with my late father? Now your husband, Priska? Tell me exactly what I should be hiding from. Oh God, I'm, I feel so ashamed of you. I never married your father. Oh. I am ashamed of you, Jake. No, no, you should be ashamed of yourself. Look, I feel so ashamed for having anything to do with you. If only you know half the truth. Oh God, get out! God, I never did the things you accused me of, Jake. I never dated your father. Liar! But, but you ended up living with him. He was a godsend help to me. Lie again! I didn't even know he was your father until now. Yes! Lie again! Now get out. We haven't changed. Let's go. Come down, let's go. That you never knew the man was your father until this time. Oh, this God, that she lied. Explain to me how she lied. You hid your identity from her? Doesn't know your real home? Thought that this was your house? And you told me that you never discussed your family with her? Uh, um, yes, yes, but, but look, Jeff, I'm not a fool. I, I saw how my dad. Okay, they're always together. 
they are always on a cruise to Abuja, you know, everywhere, you know, together. I'm no fool, I'm no kid, man. And, and that the idiot is walking up to me and trying to lie about some non-existent hospital, her mother days, her mother blab. Man, fuck, forget Jake, it, I'm not falling for that. Jake, Jake, Jake. When I left you here and traveled, you give the keys later to my colleague James? Yes, I did. Uh, that was, wasn't that what you instructed me? Yes. James told me that a certain girl you deceived came here looking for you. Knowing it was her, I sent a note to James to take it to her hostel, informing her in the note that you have traveled so that she doesn't bother coming to waste her time. Uh, and she got the note, so no. what? No, she didn't get the note. That is the point. James told me that when he got there, her roommates told him that she had traveled because she had lost her mother in the hospital. See? Oh, no, God. I, I, I just don't know what to make out of this whole thing. Man, forget it, man. God, God, God. Somebody's playing on my mind. God. Jay, take it easy. Calm down yourself, huh? Who said we are going to sell the house? Uh, return to oh, Ofasi. Yes, yes. So I said, make I take uh, early. They look for work for a lot of place. Yes, yes, I said so, but um, um, but stay. Okay, please stay, okay? Um, before I go to London, let me see what I will do to settle the problems my bills my father had to be. It's okay, Lee. Thank yes. you, sir. No problem. Thank you. Just stay. God bless you. Stay, yeah, stay. Hey, God bless you. Famous. Famous. Is that you? Okay, Good day. I hear say you come from overseas. So I say make I come greet you. You, you got this from the accident that took my dad's life? Now, so, I don't begin better now, self. If you say you see me when this accident happened to me, you for cry for me. But I thank God she is still there alive today. Oh, yes, that's good, sir. So, I got Jacob. Now, so it take happen. All of a sudden, I just hear, why? Um. Thomas, did you have much to drink that day at the wedding? I mean, do you normally drink? I know they even drink. That day, Najib say, Thomas, can't you speed up? Take me to this friend, take me to the club, this and that. Until uh, some, uh, along the line, I come, they uh, confused. Now anything can't happen. Well, that's destiny for you. So what do you do now? Okay, Chico, there's nothing I feel do. See, this is my arm and this is my leg. I don't spend all the money when I get finished on them. But I won't beg you something. Me and my family, we they suffer very, very much now. Please, if you feel do anything for us, God go bless you. Oh, well, uh, I'll see what I can do before I go back to London. Thank you, Okay, okay Jacob. Your papa dead, he been paying me very, very much. Your papa, now my godfather. Now he give me and my family food, make us survive, do everything for us. Your papa been treat me like a brother, a brother. Well, different strokes for different folks. Uh, Thomas, there's something I want you to remind me. I want you to try to remember. I mean, something very important. What thing be that? I mean, it, uh, those days you, you and Papa used to go to, 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 to the campus. Um, the girl's hostel. This girl, um, Priska. I mean, do you remember that girl used to take to Abuja, you remember? Huh. Me, I don't say anything about that one. What are you talking about? I mean, Priska. I mean, this girl, you always there. I mean, this tall, black, pretty lady, you always, my daddy, I, I remember you took her to Abuja once. Oh, God, Jacob. That girl, yes. I swear, if you say I get money, I will use my money go pay for her, make you marry her. 
That girl is a very nice and decent girl. Come on, my friend, what are you talking about? I'm saying my father is somebody's sugar daddy. You are saying all this trash. Who that chief sugar daddy? There's nothing chief no do for the girl. The girl no agree. Now me chief they send to the girl. Chief go give her jewel, give her money, give her cloth, give her everything. The girl no agree. Say because she didn't love with one boy so. Chief did everything. The girl still no agree. You see him? But I can't happy say chief can't help the girl even though the boy give him belly, can't run. See, that nice girl, see the thing with no, 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 Thomas, you don't understand. See, I, I, I'm aware of what I'm saying. There, there was a time my dad took Priska to Abuja. I know it. I mean, he, he takes them there, he, you know. No. They have their rooms. And... No. There's only one girl. Which chief take to Abuja. Her name is Helene. The day which chief they go to Abuja, now me and chief go carry Helene from the hostel. That day as we they go, so we can't see Priska for road. Priska say she won't travel home, go see her mama, say her mama day sick. Now we can't carry and go drop and for pack. That's on. You, you, you mean there was never a time my father took Priska to Abuja, I mean, lodged them in the hotel, guest room, and all that? Never. Never. Priska, you know the near chief. You know they let evil chief touch her. And only one day when we see her for one supermarket, so now we carry him, chief say make her carry him, go drop him. That day she said she go, they go see the man we want to marry him. Jeff, I need your help. Man, I have sinned. You have sinned? I have sinned against Priska. Priska? What are you talking about? Man, I just found out the truth. I mean, all this while I've been accusing her, she's been innocent of it all. God. I, I just spoke with my dad's driver now and. And he said, Priska never ever had an affair with my dad. I mean, it was all just in my mind. I mean, hi. So, where is she now? I don't know, I don't know. But that's why I came to ask you, I mean, to help me find out. But I know nothing about her past. You know better. You are the person who can find her. Yeah, I still remember her, her hostel room in campus. Oh, please, Jeff. Please do come with me. I need you to help me. Please. Jake. Please. What are our friends for? Thanks, man. I'll come with you. Thanks, man. Look, Priska. I would have rented out this place a long time ago. Huh? All I'm asking you is to pay your rent. If not, if not. Uh. I'm going through a lot at the moment. I have nowhere to go to. Look at my baby. We have nowhere to go. Okay, all I'm asking is for you to give me time. Time, time. Time. Do you know how long I've given you? Do you know? Look, am I the only landlord in this area? Look, all I'm just telling you is just to pack your things and go and get out of this shop. Otherwise, if I'm coming back again, I'm coming with the police to pack all your loads and throw it away in this place. You have a village. Go back to the village. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Hey, good morning. Are you people looking for anybody? Oh, yes. yes. Um, one Priska. Uh, she used to live here with her mother and uh, her aunt. Priska, Priska, Priska. I don't think it's this place. We are the occupants of this place, and uh, I don't know any Priska. It's here now. It's this place now. But do, do you know one Auntie Maureen? Used to be... Uh, Priska's mother's friend. She has a fashion shop where she designs and sells clothes. I don't know. Oh. I don't recall anybody like that since we're parking here. Uh, maybe you should check around the uh, Willam Street. Okay. There are these lines, lines of uh, fashion houses and all that. You may find her there. Please, can you properly direct us to where to find this uh, 
William mm -hmm. Street, I mean the fashion house. Uh, no, no problem. Just uh, take this road straight down. You see one around your back. Just take your right. When you get there, uh, just take just straight back along the road. That this road that goes down. That's no slope. Yes. Okay. You just check there. You'll see, you'll see there are a lot of shops, fashion houses, provision houses, a lot of Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Yes, thank you. And God bless you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Father or family property. Priscilla, you have your life to live, your path to follow. Jake has his. Yours must not end because of him. My ended a long time ago. When he betrayed me, abandoned and mocked me. Mm. And to think that my mother died all because of him. I, I don't know how to start. I can't even imagine all the pains I, I made you to go through. I, I just realized the truth. So, would you have come if you hadn't realized the truth? If I was guilty and have begged for your forgiveness. But the love I gave to you be enough for you to forgive me. You see? I am ready to pay. I am ready to pay for every pain I made you to go through. I am ready to pay for every emotional sacrifice with every stress in my soul. If only, if only you forgive me. I'm truly sorry, Prissy. I lost all. I lost everything. My mother, my education, my honor as a woman. Enough, enough. Prissy, enough. Prissy, um, I promise you, I promise to devote the remaining of my life to making you happy. I promise, I promise to stay by you and make it up to you this time. Please, please. Priska, you see, fate has a special way of separating people and bringing them back together. Destiny has just protected your union with Jake. When he was away, unknown to you, his father took care of you. He came back to find you right in his father's house. All these points to one thing, that
that is where you belong. So please, Priska, let the past go. Forgive my friend. He is the father of your child. Oh, Prissy, you are all I have now. I, I don't have any more parents, just like you. You see, you and I are the only family, the only parents that we have. Please, Prissy, please. Look inside your heart. Forgive me once again and let's make amends. Please. God, I love you. I love you and I promise to cherish you forever. I promise. I'm sorry. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't your fault, okay? I'm sorry. No, 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 no. it's okay. Why mm -hmm. should say sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Forgive me, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, no. 